Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today is gonna to be part two of the Coco Apricot kind of testing. It's still not a full review, but I'll definitely tell you a little bit more about what I like about the wax, what I think of the wax and how well it's working for me. So you saw in the first video, I poured a few things. I've been testing those over the last, it's probably been a week now, maybe a little bit longer. And then I did a little bit more testing today. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into that. I'll kind of show you what I was doing and then we'll come back and talk about it at the end. All right, so I went ahead and poured. I've got, oh, you can't even see it there. Uh, one pound of the cocoa apricot. I'm gonna go ahead and add cinnamon fragrance oil. And if you've seen my videos before, you know I like to add the cinnamon fragrance oil just because it's a recognizable scent. Uh, it's unmistakable when you walk into a room. That's why I like to test this one because no matter where you walk into a room, you smell it immediately. So this is the one I test with the, uh, with most waxes just to get the best hot throw or to test and see what the hot throw is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour into a couple of these. And then we're gonna do, I'm not pouring these all the way up. And then we're gonna add color to this one just to see what the color retention looks like with this. And the color I'm using is from Nature's Garden. It's just, uh, they're liquid dyes. So I'm gonna do two drops of black. I'm gonna do two drops of teal. And then you can tell I definitely poured this stuff a little too cool. You can see it solidifying around the edges a little bit already. And then I'm gonna do red in this one just to see what it looks like. Just do a drop of red in that one. I've used these dyes before, they're actually really nice. They're nice and dark, it doesn't take much to go a long way. So we'll see what the color retention is like in this one. I definitely poured that stuff too cool. but we'll see what it looks like once it hardens up. All right, so these are pretty much done. You can see the colors in there. They held actually pretty well. I definitely mixed it too cool. You can definitely see on that one, it had already started to solidify on the side, so it looks white. But when you're looking at the top of that, that actually holds the color extremely well. And of course, it's a really messy top. I was kind of moving the wick all around to kind of look at it. It's still, <clears throat> but the color on that one is actually really nice. I think maybe a drop or two more, you'd get a much brighter or darker red. The blue turned out really nice too. And you can see where I kind of moved the stick around to the side to it kind of expose some of that wax that had already started to solidify. But on the top right there, it's actually really nice. 
good color. Now the black is the one I always test just to make sure. And again, obviously I poured way too cool in that one before mixing the color. I should have mixed the color at a much higher temperature. But that one came out with two drops of black, which usually does pretty good in some waxes. Uh, you can definitely see it's a little bit more of a gray on top. <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe a drop or two more, you'd get that to come out a little bit more, but you're probably not gonna get like a true black out of this one, but still a very nice color. Okay, so for this one today, I just wanted to see what the color retention was like. Uh, I wanted to pour it into a few more containers, glass ones where you can actually see through the sides, see what the uh, glass adhesion was like. I did a couple small ones last time, but I like to pour them in the bigger ones just so it gives it a little bit more time to kind of pop from the sides. Uh, I put it down in the garage where it's a little bit cooler just to see what the cold temperatures do. And then of course, adding the colors just to see kind of how they take, what they look like, and basically what you would expect or what to expect if you're using this wax and if you're adding colors. Now for me personally, I don't add a lot of color or I don't add any color to any of my candles. I like the white natural look, but a lot of people in the group, a lot of people on this channel and a lot of people out there do use colors for their candles. So of course they always wanna know what it looks like. So having good color retention is something that's very important if you're going for a wax or if you're doing something with color. Now everybody knows that soy comes off like really light, more of a pastel look. Uh, whereas something like the Parasoy or 6006 actually holds color extremely well. You can add black to it and it's like a pitch black. It comes out really strong. And I would say this one definitely gets up towards the, uh, the closer range. I think if you added a little bit more black to this one, you'd get a much truer black from this wax. It's actually a real nice bright white, but because it does have a little bit of soy in it, you're gonna get probably a little bit, a little bit lower on the scale of kind of a true black. Uh, you can see this one, it was more of a dark gray. It wasn't the light gray that soy is, but with the red and the teal, it actually held those colors extremely well, which is really nice. That's why I wanna go through and I'm gonna test a little bit more with more black. And instead of adding two drops, I'm gonna add probably two or three more just to see what it does. I, and within the last week, I've had a chance to test all the ones that I poured. I don't have it here today because I'm burning it somewhere else, but the uh, the uh, dark green uh, matte color that I poured with the, uh, the chai, that actually has been throwing extremely well. I put it into a room that's actually a little bit bigger than this one, and uh, within 10 minutes, you can smell it almost clear across the room. So very nice throw from that one. And then of course, with these, I'm gonna be testing the cinnamon in a couple different places. I'm gonna be testing them in the old studio, where I have the bathroom, the hallway, and everything like that. I'm gonna be testing them here. And then I've given a few, or I'm going to be giving a few to uh, some coworkers and family members just to kind of see what they think from it. But overall, this wax is shaping up to be kind of right up there with the cocoa cream. I, this wax is definitely shaping up to be right up there next to the coconut soy that uh, from the Wooden Wicko. I actually like that one quite a bit. This one is right up there with it. I'm actually really liking this one a lot. The hot throw is good from it. The look of the tops, no sinking. Uh, if you get a little bit taller container, it, it dips just a little bit, but that's normal with almost any wax. And then of course, if you're pouring a wider container like those, uh, I believe it's the Aura from Wooden Wick, uh, those things didn't dip at all. They look incredibly nice. Uh, there's no heat gun over the top of them, so that's a huge plus. But overall, this wax is actually shaping up to be really nice. I'm definitely gonna get a little bit more of this, uh, test it with a bunch of different fragrances. I've tested it with probably three or four so far. Uh, I'm gonna be testing the cinnamon, which I did today. And that'll be kind of the, uh, the, the overall one that I really kind of make a final judgment on. Just because I burn cinnamon, because it's my favorite scent, I burn that in all waxes. So I know what that one smells like from wax to wax. So as soon as I get those ones burned, we'll have like a full review uh, where I talk about everything. But overall, this wax is extremely nice. It's definitely moving its way up kind of my chart in the waxes that I like to work with. And this is definitely gonna be a wax I mentioned in the previous video with the coconut soy. I'm definitely gonna be using that a little bit more. And this is another wax that I will absolutely be using. Just having something with the soy, the coconut, something a little bit more in kind of, I guess, the quote unquote natural uh, wax group is definitely something I wanna have on the website and the markets. And if you watched the video the other day, you know that Wooden Wick Co. was a sponsor at the workshop that we just did, and they're gonna be a sponsor in the Dallas workshop that's coming up. So a lot of people got a chance to work with this wax, and some of the people that were at the workshop were already currently using the wax, uh, and they liked it quite a bit. So it was definitely a new wax for me in the last couple weeks, and then of course, 
We're just now starting to get feedback from some of the people who were doing some of the test burns with all the candles that they made from the workshop. Uh, and the reviews from it or the thoughts on it are actually very positive. So the coconut soy, the, the cocoa apricot uh, have been turning out extremely well. And I'm definitely anxious to keep going with this one just to try it in a few more applications, different jars, wick sizes. I wanna double and triple with this one just to see how well it throws in a large room. And then of course, I'm gonna get some lighter scents into this one too. I wanna get some of the lighter florals, some lemons, uh, some scents that don't normally carry or throw that well with some of the waxes that I've done previously. So I wanna get some of those in there just to see kind of how well they throw. And then of course, over the next week or two, I'll have a good chance to go through and test this wax kind of inside and out. And I'll be back with a final video, which will be the kind of the complete and overall wax review. Uh, but like I said before, I'm liking this wax quite a bit. It's definitely something I would recommend right now. And again, a wax that I will definitely be using going into the future. Now this is kind of a short video. I just wanted to get in here to kind of the second update on this one, kind of let everybody know because a lot of people have been waiting for this video. So again, before I do the next video, please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you would like to see with this wax, any of the temperatures, any of the measurements, any of uh, any oils that you'd like to see in this one, anything as far as like melts, containers, or anything like that. Uh, this is definitely not a wax that you're going to use with like a pillar or a votive or anything like that. It's just too soft for it. But if you do have something you'd like to see for the next video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to add that to the final review video or at least have some thoughts on it. And of course, there are links to everything I've used in the video in the video description down below. So if you want to see the wax, uh, some of the containers, the dyes that I use today, I've got everything in the video description uh, down below so that you can click over and see those. And along with that, I've got all the social media platforms that uh, I'm on that you can communicate with me or follow me and I'll follow back. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, my website, the email address, and of course the DIY Facebook group, which is another place that I'm in every single day. So if you're not a member, definitely jump over, uh, check that one out and sign up. And of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.